Hello everyone, my name is Josh. This is the J and Inc. channel. This is Project Glastron entry number 14, the one after 13, which 13 was installing a drainage system in the Glastron boat. 14 is going to be all about cap supports and flotation boxes. So stick around and I'm going to tell you all about what I did to get these things built and installed. <laughs> All right, so thanks for sticking around everyone. Let's talk about boat cap supports and flotation boxes that I'm about to be cutting out and building and then installing in this video. So first thing I did after the drainage system was I went to Lowe's, bought some half inch sheets of blue foam that were the same thickness as the marine grade plywood that I bought on that video where y'all saw me when I drove to Memphis. So bought this blue foam so that I could cut and figure out how to lay the deck out. I did this for a couple of reasons. One, this was kind of a practice run um, so that I'm not wasting material when I go to cut the marine grade plywood. Two, there were some things I needed to figure out measurement wise for these cap supports that I'm going to be showing you how I installed and built. Um, the very front of the boat, I still had the cap supports from the original construction that I took out way, way back early on in this project. Um, I kind of put them back in their original spots just so I can kind of see how they set in there now. As you can see these cap supports from the old sitting back in here with the blue foam. Uh, this tells me a lot about how the deck is laid out. Now what I want to show you here or kind of talk about as I've got the foam sitting here and I'm in the boat messing around with everything. Um, at the very front there is another bulkhead that I had to create. And that bulkhead sits on top of that center dagger stringer that I built and it goes up to the top of the deck. So it's got to meet that perfectly flush. Now the reason I'm doing this foam and I'm trying to get a measurement for that is because this is where the bow rider section sits on top of. It sits on top of the deck and it sits on top of this wood that meets the deck flush. But the deck, once I put the fiberglass and tab it up to these cap supports that I'm going to be building, it's also going to wrap over and be fiberglass to this center um, center cap support bulkhead is what I'm going to kind of refer to that to. So that was another reason that I'm doing the blue foam. So next, uh, after I got these cut out using a circular saw and a jigsaw, I moved on to the flotation boxes in the back. I just kept cutting all my materials. In the back here they are. I also kept the old flotation boxes just like I kept the old uh, cap supports. These old boxes, I uh, basically broke them in half so I could have the, it was made out of two pieces of wood, each one. Um, there's a front piece and a side piece. And they go on either side of the transom in the uh, rear of the boat. Again, I just cut these out using a circular saw and a jigsaw. These didn't have much straight edges of any kind. So it was kind of a lot of jigsaw work, um, to be honest. All right, so with everything cut out, I could go on to installing them into the boat. I'll start with the cap supports. Um, using the jig system that I used whenever I did the uh, stringers to kind of hold them up uh, flush and level, I used the jig to hold these cap supports um, in place, putting the putty on the bottom of them, letting them set up and kick off, and then I moved on to the back, um, putting in the flotation boxes. Flotation boxes, a little bit different story. These things kind of sit around the transom. Uh, they've got these weird little notches in the back, and that's how the factory was done. I thought I would replicate it because I wanted to keep the same kind of uh, dimensions. Uh, for, you know, I didn't want to really get off of task and have anything not fit the way it originally fits. So I tried to stay true to making this a restoration versus making everything uh, completely how I just wanted it, you know, structurally. I tried to follow suit a little bit more again here. Um, so again, figure out where these go. Then I used a, uh, a nail gun to hold them together up the front. Then I putted everything in place. And then once these were in place and all the putty had kicked off, I moved on to doing tabbing of 1708. Um, I do two layers of tabbing with 1708 on everything that I touch. Um, you do a smaller, maybe like two or three inch tab, and then you'll come back with like a four to six inch tab, depending on what your, your bottom first layer of tabbing was. And then, so I laid all this out, tabbing in the corners and all this stuff. 
Now when it came to the back, I had to fill a void with putty. So before I could do that, I tabbed the inside of the boxes to the rear section of the boat. Once those tabs had kind of kicked off, then I threw some putty in place, filling in that void. Once that had kicked off, I came back over with tabbing and laid it over the putty to finish my tabbing on these boxes. Once the tabbing was completed on both sides of the transom on both of these boxes, then I went in with a layer of CSM just to kind of finish them and make them all nice and smooth. And that was that on the flotation boxes for now. Let me jump up to the front cap supports and I'll come back to the flotation boxes here in just a second. Cap supports. I mimicked the factory again here, just on tabbing, so to speak. I did tabbings on the front side underneath where uh, you would sit on the uh, bow rider section. I just tabbed across the bottom twice, tabbed in that center bulkhead that I was talking about earlier, which sits on top of the center dagger stringer. Um, and now, one more thing. I just sealed these uh, pieces of plywood here all in resin. I just coated them all in resin and did my tabbing just to keep them waterproof a little bit and saved me from putting uh, CSM layers over all of them. Basically because these are up out of the water, these are not anything that water is going to be really traveling underneath or anything like that. There shouldn't be any way for water to sit on these things. Um, so I thought I would just waterproof them with resin only and not do any layering of fiberglass. Also trying to keep it from being too much weight. Um, I'm putting a lot of weight on this boat. I say I'm putting a lot of weight. I'm kind of going back to the way it was originally, but I know I'm going on top of that when I overbuild things. So I'm just trying to be a little bit mindful of let's not put fiberglass everywhere. Um, let's just try to keep it in certain spots on stuff like this. Okay, everyone, that's going to do it for this video entry. Next time around, you're going to see me mix up some pouring foam to put into these flotation boxes that you just saw being built and installed in this video. Again, thanks for watching, subscribing, and thumbs ups. And we'll see you again next time on Project Glastron.